little sunshine, a splash of rain and the secret ingredient, according to Les, a touch of love. It's what makes the flowers bloom in the garden tended to for so many years by him and his beautiful wife Faye. Each spring crowds come to admire it, but for the first time someone special is missing. <laughs> Les's garden is a love story. It's a living memorial to the woman who oversaw its creation and who stole his heart. I talk to her out here all the time, inside, outside here. Uh, she's with me all the time. Is she, she's still keeping an eye on the garden, is she? Oh, yeah. Faye and Les Stephson were married for 65 years and this stunning garden was their pride and joy. I'm Faye and this is Les and this is our garden. We love showing our garden off to people, hearing their comment and they'll say to you sometimes, oh, I'll see you again next year. <laughs> Toowoomba's annual Carnival of Flowers attracts tens of thousands of visitors from around Australia and the world to view the stunning floral displays. Each year, Les and Faye's place has been among the prize-winning gardens, but this year's competition is the first time Les has done it alone. Sadly, 91-year-old Faye passed away last October after a fall. She died in his arms. What's it been like this year not having Faye around to uh, keep an eye on things? Uh, she, I miss her terribly. Uh, she's a wonderful person. But flying solo has not deterred this incredible man and his garden. At the age of 95, he still gets down on his knees, tending to those prized petals. You'd think staying active is the secret elixir to such a long life, but not so, according to Les. No? They all say that. I reckon it's that one stubby in the afternoon, and when Faye wasn't looking, I'd sneak another one. <laughs> His loving family have been a big support in this difficult year, like granddaughter Kimberly and great-grandson Riley. Oh, honestly, it's been really tough for him without Nana. Um, I think truly what's kept him going is the garden and the shared passion that they had for that together. He's in it from sun up to sundown pretty well every day. It's hard to fathom just how much hard work goes into making a garden look this good. Anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 seedlings are planted, all by Les and all done during the cold months of winter. You call it work, I call it playing in the garden. But it's bloody hard work, <laughs> don't kid yourself. The crowds of people who come by to appreciate his effort makes it all worthwhile. It's just such a lovely uh, continuation of a love story for Les. And it's, you know, the heart and soul that he's put into it is just, you know, it's, it's something to be treasured. You work here and you know, play away, all that sort of, and you're doing it for the people. And I, oh, you enjoy it. I love seeing him, how happy he is, you know, to share his stories and to have people share stories with him. He, he just lights, he lights him up. Les's love story has made headlines around the world this year. A lady called him from Ireland on Saturday night during the footy. What was she ringing up for? What did she, what did she want? Well, if you can understand the noise, but I quite love her. She was, I, I said, look, lady, I, the Cowboys just got uh, beaten in the football. And I said, no, I'm so tired. I just can't understand you. You're not, and she said, you, I find it hard for you too. <laughs> Luckily, the language of love transcends. There's even a lover's statue in one corner of the garden. I was married for 65 years. We never argued. We're never right. argued? <laughs> no. What's the secret to that? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> we didn't argue much. No. We're great mates. And that's on a, on a headstone right now. My favourite mate. Yeah. What a beautiful love story, huh? And Les's garden in Toowoomba remains open to the public until next weekend. I'm sure he'd love to see you for a chat.